Well, hello, welcome back to my channel. It's Salisa coming to you from Beautifully Me and You, the Bellamente y Tu y Yo. And today, you guys, I wanna bring a very special video to you, which if you saw the title, you already know, I wanna try to make the 100 envelope box a different way, the easy way, this time around and bring you guys along for the journey okay hopefully you'll get some new tips and tricks as well because when i first made this box i remember that i had just learned how to make envelopes and so i was kind of struggling and getting them to seal and things like that and even putting the laminate in the wrong direction oh my gosh those were the good old days right <laughs> well we're no longer there anymore and so yeah my original box which is this little guy i still have him with all the envelopes Maybe it's a her, because the paper is really, really pretty. But yeah, I still have her. And now I want to try to attempt to make a box that's more similar and in line with the bigger box that I'm currently using, which is this one. So see how much taller this box is. My envelopes do fit, and they would fit inside this box and be able to hold money in the size dimensions that I gave you. But I think there's an easier way to do it. So not only will we be creating a tracker to keep track so we don't have to pull out each individual envelope, but will also be creating the envelopes that go inside. If that sounds like something that interests you, seeing me make a hundred envelope box for the second time around the easy way, then let's get right into the video. All right, so let's talk about the items that we're gonna need. First and foremost, we need a pack of printed cardstock. Now I got this one from Joann's. It was only like $12 and it has a lot of pretty spring colors flower, summer, you know, it has the summer spring feel to it. So that's why I chose this pack, but you can choose whichever style paper you like. And we're going to be cutting this paper down. Also, I got a box and this box comes from Joann's as well. However, this was gifted to me with the logo on top. And if you can see, it is a rainbow hollow. And so yeah, this box right here, I'm going to be filling up and then we'll do a giveaway at the end of this video. So you want to stay tuned for that. Also, you'll need a cutter. I'm going to be using the swing cutter that's from Amazon. This is part of the Amazon Basics um, plan, and I'll have this link down below. If not this one, there'll be a different type of rotary cutter down in my Amazon storefront, so you definitely need some type of paper cutter, and then you need a laminator and some laminating sheets. So let's go ahead and get started with cutting the paper, and um, you'll see along the way how we'll use those other details that we need, okay? So let's see. I do want to test and see how much comes off one sheet of paper. Now, I didn't pre-plan this at all. So anything that I'm doing is just straight off the top of my head, okay? Um, I know that it needs to be 2.75. It needs to be 2.75 by five and a half. And if you make it that way, then what we're going to do is essentially fold these in half like this laminate this and then it'll be a perfect square laminated with three by three all the way around okay so that's it's going to be a three by three square that's going to fit inside the box and that should be the same as one of the boxes that i have now or one of the envelopes that i have now um, this box was made for me by two moms budget amber from two moms budget but um, she's only selling these in limited stock so if you want one of these then you can but you'll see there if i show there has a thin line of laminate around the outside but this is the exact measurement for these little boxes okay so hold on let me put mine back in here and let's see how many of these little tiny envelopes we can get off one sheet of paper so let's see there's probably a method to this that i don't know but we're just going to keep going two and a half because when I'm done with this, what I'm going to do is cut them all as a bundle. Okay, so I went and got my other big boy cutter because the other one, the blade was just acting crazy. Okay, so I don't have time for that. All right, so, <laughs> so what I figured out is I can get about four envelopes per sheet of paper. I'm going to go ahead and fold these and lay these to the side and they'll be ready to go. And then we'll keep going and we'll do, that means 24 more sheets of paper we need to cut down. I think I'm gonna cut down five at a time. This is a pretty sturdy cutter. This is made by Exacto, X-A-C-T-O. It's a little bit more expensive than the other, but it does have a very sharp blade. Okay, I'm serious. So let's pick out some pretty patterns. I want something that is totally 
spring. Look at me being extra picky. Well, you guys know I love pink, so we'll do two of these. We're gonna do two of 12 patterns, so that's two of those. We'll do two of these, because these are tulips. Look at that, so cute. We'll do two of these flowers. I don't want any bunnies. Ooh, I like these flowers. Two of these. Okay, so that's eight so far, eight sheets of paper. Let me see what else I see. It's gotta be something that catches my attention. Ooh, what's that one? Blessed. No, it says November. I'm looking for spring patterns, so let me see what I can see. I don't want any of that fall stuff. Because this is all about different seasons. We could do two rainbows. I'll go with that. I don't want sunglasses. Mm, do I like this one? Okay. We'll put two of those. Good vibes, picnics, ice cream, sun kiss. That's what I'm talking about. That's the that's the vibes I'm going for. Okay, let me see what else. No stars. I don't mind this one. All right, so let me speed this up and I'm gonna get all the paper together and then we're gonna cut it down and we'll get started folding and we're gonna see if we can get this done the easy way. Okay, I think I have all the paper. I have a total of 24 sheets. If you guys hear a lawnmower, I'm sorry, the people are cutting the grass next door. But I have a total of 24 sheets of all different varieties. I've kind of took out the dark patterns and only kept it kind of light and bright for the summer. And then we also have these yellow ones that we already folded. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and cut them down probably like five per, five sheets at a time. One, two, three, four, five, let's do six. All right, I'm gonna scoot these to the side and I'll do it kind of slow the first time and then I'll go ahead and put it on time warp speed so you guys don't have to see the whole thing. It is actually, what time right now? Um, 12 o'clock and we're getting started. Let's see how long it takes us to make this box. It'll probably take a little longer though because I am doing a tutorial at the same time. You know what I mean? Anyway, 2.75 is where I'm gonna measure this one. And then we're gonna cut this way, 2.75. And I'm already seeing that the patterns might be a little bit off, but it'll be okay. Uh-oh, I did something wrong because that didn't come out exactly right. All right, so this one's cut 2.75 by 5.5, and we're gonna fold it in half, and it should be the exact same as this one. And it should be the exact same as this one, which it is. So we're on the right track. So I'm gonna fold all these, cut those, and I'm gonna put it all in time warp speed, and I'll let you guys know what time I'm actually done. But you got the gist of what I'm doing. 2.75 by 5.5. One tip when folding the paper is they don't have to be pressed really hard because they are gonna go through the laminating machine and that's gonna press them down even more with inside the laminate. So don't spend your time trying to fold them perfectly. Just get them folded in half and scoot them to the side. Keep cutting, keep moving, and it'll go faster than you think. All right, you guys, so I have quite a bit still going on. Okay, so I have them all here. I'm gonna little, get a little bin and count them up and make sure I have 100 because honestly, I had some mistakes in the whole game. First of all, my cutter was cutting a little bit jagged and that's why I cut to a different, changed to a different cutter. Secondly, on the new cutter, I didn't see the measurements correctly and I ended up with this tail end scrap piece of some that should have been envelopes, but they're not wide enough. They're supposed to be 2.75 by 5.5 and I think these are like two and a half, so they're just not wide enough. And then these are all the end cuts. 
So I'm gonna get all the trash off the table and then we'll make sure we have 100 envelopes here folded. And right now the time is 12.30. So that took me about 25 minutes, not too bad. Hold on. Okay, so hopefully this is 100 because like I said, I had a little bit of issues. Some of them aren't even exactly a square on the back. So I'll put them in groups of five, let's see, or 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh-oh, that's two of them together, nine, 10. All right, so that's 10. One, two, three, four, like this one. See, I cut it, but I'm still gonna put laminate over it. So it's gonna be a peekaboo 100 envelope. Oh. <laughs> peekaboo 100 envelope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. I'm just trying to commingle them so they won't all have the same patterns back to back. Wait a minute. Okay, there's the next 10, so that's 20. And I'm just gonna keep going with this until I make sure I have, one, two, three, four, until I make sure I have 100, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So yeah, whoever's doing this, that's 30. Whoever wins this little box, just know, you know, I put in some labor in this mug, okay? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Because, like I said, I messed up on some cuts. That's 50. 2, mm -mm, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh -oh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. That should be 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Do I have enough? What do you guys think? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I want to down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's another peekaboo. Nine, ten. <laughs> All right, so that's seventy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, that one upside down. Okay, there we go. All right, that's eighty. One, uh oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. Ooh, I think I made it. Hold on, that's 90. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Put this on 10. All right, that's 100. And I'm going to go ahead and laminate. This is 100 total. And I'm going to go ahead and laminate these extra four. I had dropped one on the ground. But anyway, I'm gonna laminate these extra four as well, just in case I cut them down wrong. So the next step after we have them all folded and ready to go is gonna be lamination. The laminate is already warmed up, but let me go ahead and get set up with a different angle and I'll show you guys how I lay it all out in the laminate paper. Okay, so I do have some other things on the table. These are some savings boxes that need to be shipped, some scratch off vellums, just ignore that. Let's focus here on the laminate let me see i have some three mil laminate so it is very thin and that's the type of laminate that's used with these hundred envelope boxes versus the five that's really thick and then i have my box of all my envelopes that i'm going to put up here so let's go ahead and lay it out i have my laminator here it's all warmed up so we're going to be sliding them through there so let me lay out one and i'll kind of show you what it looks like and you guys i'm kind of winging this too but i can only imagine that if i only need a tiny bit of trim i probably can put about at least six to eight of these. Oh, we're gonna say six. Yeah, six. I'm just literally putting them here. Like that, okay? So let me put this one down and then I'll put another one on top. Hold on. Okay, I kinda want them to be laid out the same layout so that way whenever I cut them, I'll be able to cut them kind of multiple or close to multiple at a time. So that's what I'm doing right now is just laying them right in the exact same spot on each page. 
You guys, I picked up some tips along the way. I mean, come on. You know, I'm not that great at this and this is not my forte. I will never sell these. Don't worry. If you're interested in getting yourself one, you should probably head over to Amber's shop. She has a few out. I'll put her link down below as to where I got mine from her. I think she's selling a few of them left. But um, you also can make them. You know, they just take a little bit of time. And the first time I did it, you know, it took me six and a half hours. I don't think it's going to take that long. Because... You know, your girl has grown, okay? She know how to use a laminator now. So knock it off. But before I was like, wait, what? Put the laminate sheet in with the clothes side in first. Folks had to like educate me on what to do. I'm gonna go ahead and start laminating and continue to lay out. I'm just gonna stick it in here, let it go through, and then we'll cut them down. Let me go ahead and continue laying out these sheets. I'm gonna put you guys in time lapse so you could just see it happen pretty quickly on your end. And right now it is 12.39. So yeah, we're moving right along. If we can get this done in like an hour and a half, I will be so happy with myself. That will be a four hour improvement. Okay, let's move forward. Now, one thing I do want to say is when you have the open side here, the open side should always face up or in the same direction. So when you cut them down, you'll know what side you're supposed to be open in the pocket. So I'm putting the folded side face down, which is going to be the sealed side of the envelope and the open side of the fold face up, meaning that direction. Okay, towards the top of the paper. So when I cut them, I know that that's the side that I need to open up everything along this top side. Okay, so that might help as well. And the reason why I'm lining them up all similar, so when they come out, they'll be like this. You see, these are already laminated, so they'll be like this. And I can use my cutter to just cut across this middle on several pages, instead of them being all placed differently on the page. You know, I want them all in the same spot so I can do bulk cutting when I get done and then only fine tune with little small cuts. So yeah, we're about halfway there. Okay, it's now 12.57, so we're about, what, 50 minutes into the whole process. And now all I have to do is cut these down and then make a tracker. If you can see, they're kind of all lined up. I cut one and I wanna kind of show you what it looks like. The top of the page is here. So I'm gonna open it on this side across this top, which means cutting all the way against the cardboard or the cardstock, right? Then I'm gonna leave a small trim all the way around to make sure that it seals. And that's it. So let me go ahead and do this one. First things first, I'm gonna line it all the way up against the cutter and I'm gonna cut to open the pocket. And that should open the pocket. If you don't cut close enough, it won't open, but this one's open, okay? And then I'm gonna cut a trim all the way around and I'm gonna send it back through one more time to make sure it's sealed on all sides. So let me do that next. And I'm only leaving a slight trim around all three sides, the two sides and the bottom. And I'm gonna put it back through the laminator. Y'all, these braids. Oh, we. Okay, so I'd already did one before I got you guys back on and I didn't send it back through. So let me send that one back through too. I just like to make sure that it's sealed on the sides. Okay, so this is what it looks like. This one's so cute with the tulips, even though they're upside down. Oh no, they're right side up. Okay, so it'll go in here like this, into the box. Here's the other one. And then if you have a bill, you basically need to make sure that when you open the envelope, 
you stand the bill with the folded side of the bill hanging out like this. And they stand up in here, just like that. And then the lid will go on top. Okay, so everything fits nice and compact. Look at mine. If you have a ton of bills, then they'll stand up like this. Because these envelopes are the exact same size of the ones that I have in here. All right, so let's go ahead and cut all 100, count them up, and make sure we have everything that we need for this box. What I'm going to do is take three sheets at a time, line them up, and cut them with my cutter. Okay, and then I'm going to cut them the other way. So I have a stack like this. I'm gonna do the same thing with these. And once I have this stack like this, now I can go ahead and cut them down to size, okay? And make sure they're trimmed all the way around. Well, the more I began to cut, the smarter I got, so I decided to cut all the strips just straight down the middle, and then I used my cutter to cut them right along the top of the cardstock as I went along, so all of the individual little pieces would already be open, and the only thing I needed to do was then trim around the sides for the final cut. I hope that makes sense. Y'all had to put me some music on this stuff. Ooh, we gonna make it. I'm checking everyone to make sure they're open as well. So we got them all set. Hold on, let me get this out the way. Put all the scraps in the trash. Ooh, look at all that. Look at all that. Okay, now, the thing we need to do is actually send them all back through the laminator to make sure they seal. I don't know if you guys can see, but sometimes there's like a little air pocket on the side, and I like to close that by re-sending them back through. And I'm sending them through on five mil setting instead of three because it's thicker with the cardstock in the middle, right? So we need it to heat up as much as possible, press down as hard as possible, like it's pressing through something thicker than just a three mil sheet of paper, right? So we're gonna put it through five mil, run it back through. I already checked that they were all open pockets as I um, cut them. If I already had to touch them, I might as well cut them. And they all have the same little trim around the edge and then cut open on the top. So now we're gonna laminate them all, count them up, and we will be done with the box portion. Now this might be a little bit overkill for some, but as I'm picking them up and stacking them all in my hands in the right direction, if they have a little air pocket, I'm sitting them to the side and I'm going to run them back through. I realize that the laminator is hottest all the way to the left or all the way to the right. And so that's exactly where I'm feeding them back through to seal them off. So we got them all together. Let's see, 100 envelopes. I'm gonna count them up real quick and we're gonna see, make sure we have 100 and we're gonna put them in there. There's already two in the box. Let's see. Take that money out. That's my money. Okay. <laughs> All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And I'm gonna put it in here. That's twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. That's forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. That's eighty. And our last, the final count. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and there's 1, 2, 3 extras. One of them I cut wrong, so I took it out. So there's 3 extras. That's 100. Envelope box. Now, hold on. I'll put these extras in here because I'm not going to use them. I'll put them this way. All right, so there we go. 100 envelopes plus three bonus envelopes right here in a Stack Mo Money Challenge. I'm gonna do a tracker for this as well. Here's the challenge. I'll show you guys on my computer how I'm gonna create the tracker for this. Um, it's just gonna be 100 little envelopes with numbers. I don't even know if I'm putting numbers. Am I? Yeah. Okay, I'll put numbers <laughs> on 100 little, track, 100 little envelope tracker show you guys how to create that and that will actually lay right here on top this box is a three by five box let me just cut a piece of paper just to make sure that's the right measurements before i actually create a whole document so hold on all right now comes the time where we make the actual tracker and yes it was three by five so we're going to click in the upper right hand corner create a design and then make sure you change this number to inches instead of pixels and put in three by five create a design this is a template space that we'll actually be able to work with. You can use a slider on the bottom just to get closer or farther away. It will not change the template size. Next, I'm gonna click on design in the upper left-hand column and I'm looking for any type of design that could work in order for me to make an actual template. And I chose this one with the flowers. It's super easy to customize. You can pick up any of the elements and move them out. I'm moving them slightly off the page so that I'll have enough space to add 100 envelopes and I'm dragging the text up to the top kind of sort of centering it, but go ahead and type in the words stack mo money. Now we're gonna work with this a little bit later. For right now, you see you can change the size, you can change the color. There's a lot of customizations you can do. Now I'm going over to elements and looking for an envelope and I found one, so I'm just gonna shrink that all the way down to size. And I thought I'd change it to a different color, but the background, I definitely want to be white. So I'm moving the slider for the background color to be white, and now I'm gonna shrink down the little envelope. I don't know exactly how small it needs to be in order to get 100 on this small tracker, but we're just gonna continue to shrink it and then we will duplicate. Canva's very user-friendly and so I'm just gonna click on the element and hit Control C, Control V and copy and paste it. When you see the purple line, you know that it's already in line, but in order to get it even more so, I'm then gonna hold down the shift button and click each one of the individual elements and go to the three dots that show up at the top and go to space evenly, space evenly and is then going to space them all exactly the same space apart. I then highlight them again and group them together and now they're one large group of a set of five envelopes that I can drag all over anywhere because they're all linked together until I ungroup. So I just hit that whole group of envelopes and copy and paste and I'm making five of those so that'll be a total of 25 in that box. I'm going back to highlight all five rows and then going back to space evenly by hitting the three dots and making sure that all of those are spaced perfectly. And now that we have a perfect square, we can shrink it, we can make it larger, we can duplicate the whole box of 25, and you know in no time we're gonna have 100 envelopes. I did correct the spacing between the little boxes later, but yeah, that's how you would do it and it's not very hard at all. Now I'm going to ungroup all of them, okay? So they'll become individual little 100 envelope elements on the page. And now I'm going to hold down shift and select all the top row and group that, drag a line across the second row, group that, and continue on all the way down the page until each individual line is grouped. And that will allow me to move row by row and drag them down row by row so that I can make space for the numbers. Okay, because I want numbers to be underneath each one of these individual envelopes. Now I can drag a whole row of 10 down and try to space those out evenly with gaps in between each row so that I'll have space to put the numbers just below each individual envelope and you'll see me move them around. Sometimes I do use like the tidy up horizontally or vertically. I'm pushing some up at the top just to try to make them all evenly spaced, but you're gonna see that I'll use some of the other functions that are here in order to go to space evenly and have them spaced out correctly. So that's how you do that. Now, some of the flowers that are on the sides, you can pick them up and move them. Okay, now it's time to work on the numbers. So I went ahead and hit text all the way over on the left and then hit add 
a little subheading and I just typed the number one. I went ahead and copied and pasted that all the way across the stack of the first row of 10 envelopes. So every single one had the number one under it. And then guess what tool I'm gonna use to make sure that they're spaced out properly? You guessed it. The three little dots at the top, I'm gonna end up hitting evenly space and space those. And then I will copy and paste just like I did the envelopes all the way down and then highlight the numbers in order to change them to numbers one through a hundred instead of ones all over the page. So I'll let this play and hopefully you can see what I'm talking about. This happens to be some of the most tedious work that there is on this tracker and that's why i was debating whether or not i'd even add the numbers but yeah what i ended up doing was making a whole row of double digit numbers and spacing it out so it wouldn't be like one number on top of the other once i had that done i just copied and pasted the row of double digits all the way down instead of the row of single digits so i hope that makes sense i deleted the ones that were there and then ended up just typing in like copying number 13, changing it to 14, copying number 14 and changing it to 15, things like that until I got this whole row completed. And then I grouped the whole row of double digit numbers and copied it down to the next row and kept doing that until I got all the way down. So hopefully that is easy for you to see here. Um, but it's an easy way that you can get numbers onto row by row by row without actually typing all those numbers you know, and spacing them out properly. They'll already be spaced properly. So there I am highlighting only the numbers, trying not to get that flower that's at the top and then hitting space evenly first and then grouping them together as a group. And then after that, copying and pasting them to the next row. Also, your favorite friend for Canva will be the arrow, the back arrow in the upper left side of the top of the screen um, because that's the undo. So if you ever mess up anything on Canva, just know that you can undo it. It's never gonna be anything that's final. And that's what I love about this program. When I got done doing all of the numbers and I went ahead and worked on the header and the title and changed the font a little bit. And so I did wanna tell you guys that I'm gonna be offering a free template. Now the template will only be available for one week and it'll look like this when you copy the link from my description into Canva. If you don't have an account, you can set up a free account and it will automatically bring up the template that I created, okay? From here, you definitely can download and print it, but there's lots of other great things you can do. Like you can change the color of the rainbow to different colors if that's what you want. You you can change the colors of the flowers and if you mess up just hit this undo button right here and it'll take you back to the original document so you never will mess it up if you like to change the font you just click on the words click the drop down for a different font and you can change it the options are really endless you even could delete the flowers and the rainbows on the corner and go over to elements on the left and find something that better suits what you would like on your tracker just don't mess with the hundred envelopes in the middle once you've customized your tracker to your liking, you'll hit share in the upper left hand corner and hit the download button and then select on the drop down PDF print and you'll go ahead and download that and it will download to your computer exactly how you design your tracker to be. So we all can have individual trackers and you can get to used to using Canva a little bit more because there might be more templates in the future. All right, you guys, here's the finished product. Isn't it pretty? I love it. Uh, okay, let me show you what the tracker looks like inside. I cut it down to 3.25 by 5.25, but you can resize it because remember, it's an adjustable template on Canva. So if you don't want the flowers there, you could take that off and put something else. If you want different color patterns, you can change that. As long as you keep the 
boxes, you know, the envelopes and the number is pretty much the same. You even could change the font of that. It might be a little more difficult, but some of these extra decorative pieces or even the style or color of the font, you can adjust how you would like. And that's the beauty of the template. I am going to be offering the template for the first week. So one week from today, um, which means it'll be coming down at the 1st of June. And if you need the template after that, you'll have to head over to my Etsy shop where you can digitally download it for $5 um, and print it yourself. So I did print it in this um, three and a half or three and a quarter by five and a quarter. So it'll fit directly inside this box. Let's go ahead and do a little mini cash stuffing. And then I'll show you another example of how you could use this template. I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars $10 here that came out of my little wallet. So let's see what we can do. Um, I'm going to be using a purple highlighter. I have a purple Sharpie that I stole off my daughter's desk. So we're just going to rock with that. Um, and so for this particular way that I made this box, you don't have to look for the envelope number like I do, you know, because they're not numbered at all. So let's say we wanted to stuff number one, we would just color in number one. Wait a minute. Okay, that color is not showing up so good. So I'm going to use black. So let's say we color in number one. Okay, so that one's done. And we literally would just take the first envelope or any envelope for that matter, but I'm gonna take the first one just so we don't get hemmed up or confused. Take the first envelope and we'll put $1 in. And that's number one. Okay, now let's say we wanna do number nine since we have $9 left, then we would just color in number nine. that. I don't want it to dry out. <laughs> so then we'll take the next envelope and we would stuff the $9 in. So it really doesn't matter what order that you're going as long as you pick a number on the tracker. And you can do this as fast or as slow as you like because at the end you'll save $5,050 and it might take you longer than you know, once a pay period to stuff it, you might need to stuff a little bit every now and then and get to the end result later. So that's how the box will look. Then we would just put the tracker back on top and close it all up. That is the stack mo money. <laughs> if you guys are interested in the template, go ahead and click down below. Um, let me show you another way that you actually could use this template. All right, so to stuff this challenge the same way, I printed it four by six. So this actually, I think it's it might be four by five and a half because it's a little bit short, but I could have cut it longer or stretched the actual template longer to make it big, right? So if you have one of these type binders, you actually could do the same challenge with one of these type binders, or you could, you know, make yourself an envelope box, however you choose to do it. And you don't have to have this binder in order to do this second idea that I'm talking about. Let's say we have the same $10, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, that I took out of the other box. Okay. Same money. And we colored in number one and number nine on the tracker, just like we did before. That would go back in here. And now with a Sharpie, you can write on these envelopes that are pretty sturdy. So I would suggest staggering the numbers so that you won't see them all throughout. But let's say we had number one through 10 on this envelope. And right behind that, we had number 11 through 20 through 20. And right behind that, we had number 21 through 30. You get the idea, right? Because this, um, this will come with a total of 12 envelopes. So there'll be enough for you to make one row an envelope, one row an envelope, okay? If we colored in number one and nine, those will both go in this first envelope, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10. And that would go inside here. So you can get stickers to put down here if you want it, like numbered stickers, or you can simply write on them. But that way you'd already have a cubby for the numbers one through 10 in this very first envelope. And these binders are four by six, um, six disc ring binders. And I'll be selling these for $15 individually. Um, and then you can easily use the template in order to make it a four by six template, stretch it out since it's adjustable on Canva and end up putting it in here and have your own 100 envelope folder, okay? But if you wanna make the box, I just showed you how to make the box as well, which is super cute with the tracker sitting on top. I'm gonna to be doing a giveaway for this box because I already have a 100 envelope box, so we'll be doing a giveaway and it's with this video. Now, you, I know I said I would only be doing giveaways on lives, but we're gonna switch it up a bit. So for 
This particular video, if you're interested in getting this box, I need you to put hashtag stack money and I'll put it right here on the screen. Put that hashtag down in the comment section and you possibly could win this particular box that I created with love. <laughs> all right, you guys, I think that is everything for today. I appreciate you for being here. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, put this one single emoji right here, letting me know that you made it. Don't forget, as far as the link is concerned for the adjustable Canva template, you only have to have a free Canva account in order to access it. So go ahead and copy the link and paste it somewhere because in about a week on June 1st, I'll be taking that link down. And from that point forward, if you want to purchase the template, you'll have to head over to my Etsy store. So yeah, go ahead and copy the template and save it for yourself. So when you're ready to go back and play and manipulate a template for a hundred envelope box, you have access to it right there. And if that's nothing that you want to do and you actually want the physical product, head over to <laughs> my Etsy store after June 1st in order to purchase that. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I put out a video. You never know, I might release another freebie soon. Also, don't forget to like this video because it helps it to be suggested to others who might need this information. And then lastly, share this video with someone if you think they're creative enough to make a box for maybe themselves or you. All right, you guys, that's everything for today. I will talk to you later. Take care.